All right, we'll be pulling this flywheel and stator cover off, oil filter cover off here. You just pull that. There will be some um, they're magnetic right here, so this may be a little more challenging to, to get off, but we'll pull that out there. That is your stator generator, and here is a idler gear here, and that just kind of attaches the, the starter to the actual um, uh, starter gear behind this flywheel. So for this flywheel, we'll go ahead and pull that off. Now what I do is take the, the recoil pull starter cap bolt and spin it on there. And then I run that all the way down till it's snug. Then I take a flywheel puller here, that's what this is, and spin this on as far as it will go. So we'll pull this flywheel off here. And that just kind of broke it free there. So if uh, sometimes if you put enough pressure on it and it's not coming loose, you feel like you might damage something else. A lot of times what you can do is just leave your socket on there, take and just slam that one time with your hammer. And a lot of times the force of that will We'll go and push that uh, flywheel off of the crank. It's a tapered, um, tapered area inside here, and the crank is tapered, so it will. It, you don't have, don't have to do anything special putting it back together, but taking it off, you need that pull. So then we've got a keeper right here. It's kind of a half moon keeper, so it'll it'll just kind of slide up and around in there. Here is your starter gear here. And on the back of, the back of your flywheel, you have a one-way bearing that this that this starter gear rides on. So if it spins both ways, you've got problems. If it doesn't spin at all, you've got problems. But you want it to spin one way and not the other. Okay, this is your idler gear here. This attaches to the starter. This attaches to the one-way the starter gear. You got your cam chain tensioner there, or your cam chain guide, and your cam chain there. Two 10 millimeter bolts to take this out. And pull this out. This is your second guide here. This is the one that the, the tensioner rides up against. This part right there. And then your cam chain slides out the bottom there. There's your cam chain. Shouldn't have any kinks that are Stuck, you should be able to move it all freely, no kinks in it at all. And then the oil filter cover here came off, and these bolts are specialty bolt. So you want to make sure you use the ones from Yamaha to go back together. This is a two piece cover here, and this bolt specifically centers, and this bolt center that cover to where there's no free play in it to let oil by. A lot of pressure on that pump, so you want to make sure that those bolts are the right ones before you put it back together. There's your oil filter here. Never want to reuse an oil filter, so we'll just throw that away. We've got a sensor here. And this sensor you just pull off here, and we'll use some pliers. It's not wanting to come off. Just a cap on that sensor. All right, then we will pull the middle gear apart and the yokes. So first yoke here, we'll do the back one. And what I do is grab two screwdrivers the same length and find the keeper here. So there's one right here. We're going to do the, the yoke that's attached to the motor. Okay, so we'll, we'll tap one keeper here. And this time it is coming off the back here, so you just tap it a little bit. And then you can take your screwdriver in behind there and kind of pry that keeper out. And it'll go flying if you don't put your hand in behind there to keep it from flying across the room. So there's one keeper that will turn, turn it over. Here's your other keeper here. We'll do the same thing here. And that's coming off the back. Sometimes those keepers will just sit there and spin. 
Um, so if you grab two screwdrivers, you can take and uh, pry one on either side of the keeper. So you're taking two screwdrivers the same length, put one on this side, one on this side, and then take a hammer and slam them both down at slam it both down at once, and that will push that keeper off at even evenly, popping it off. We've got those two keepers off, and we're going to keep these because this joint is good. Now what you do is take and turn down the yokes that you had just pulled the keepers off of, and tap down on those. So we've got that cap here, and then push it back down. And do the same thing on this side. Push that cap out there. Now sometimes you'll get one of the roller bearings or two of the roller bearings that drop down. You just take a screwdriver, set it back up into place, and those caps are ready to go back on. U-joints aren't expensive. If you want to just replace those U-joints now, um, if you have everything off. Now we'll pull these, this other yoke off of here, and then this just slides right off. And that's that yoke there. Now put them back together, same thing, it's a lot easier to do it in a vise, but just put them, then put the cap on, make sure it's all greased up, make sure those rollers are in place, make sure it spins on there, and then tap it down. If you have a vise, you're just able to hold that into place a little bit easier. Then I take and push this cap up, and I'll set it on a hard surface here. And then you'll do that until you can get those keepers in, and just hit those keepers to where they should be. Um, the keepers will just slide back down in that groove there. Okay, now we've got this one over here, and this is going to the front. Okay, so clean this off here so we can see a little bit so it's not getting debris in there. And this joint is actually bad. Um, it's loose, but we'll still pull it off because the yokes are good and they're, they're not cheap new. So find the keeper here where it starts. Okay, I found it in the, underneath all the dirt there. Same thing. Go with the that or the yoke that is attached to the motor. We'll spin around. Do the same thing on the other side. It starts here. And your U joint. If you're replacing your U joint, they'll come with new keepers, so you don't need to try to keep those if you're replacing the U joint, anyways. And then take. Now it pops that cap right off. Flip it over. Do the same thing on this side. Because we're not keeping the U-joint on this one, we'll put it in a vise and pull those other caps off of the other side. But now that's all for this side. Here's the keepers, which we're not keeping, but all right, and that yoke is off there. Now we will pull that middle drive gear assembly off. So here. Here's a cover here with your transfer gear in this area here. And this will be full of oil, or should be. So we will spin this. There's uh, four 12 millimeter, let's see, 12 millimeter bolts on the case here. And then also three eight millimeter bolts. <coughs> All right, and then this case assembly is off here. So there's gears down in here that are free. This again will have oil in it. Here's your filler hole here. Here is your drain here. It's a 10 millimeter drain on the bottom. So we'll sit, set that there, let that drain. We'll pull this cover off here and the shaft and we'll remove that transfer gear which is there. So these transfer gears or this bevel gear, they work together. So from Yamaha, you'll buy them as a set. We can kind of loosen up this retainer nut if we can. Might just try removing it. And if we're going to use a screwdriver to hold it, just make sure we've got a good spot to where it's not going to break the case and to where it's not going to spin. 
and that has removed that nut and these will actually be sold as a set. So I'll pull this oil line here and we'll, um, two sensors I'd like to pull off here and here. Oil sensor, probably a gear sensor. Here's your oil sensor here as well. Clean this area up a little bit to get a ratchet or a socket underneath there. This are there. And then there's your other one there. So probably the same sensor, probably the same part number from Yamaha. Pull this. And this goes with the recoil cup. And we will flip this motor over and start pulling the clutches apart. A bunch of eight millimeters around the outside of this. We won't have to remove the Phillips screws um, besides this one here for the speedo gear. And we will do that first. All right, this clip removed and we'll take a small screwdriver and put some pressure. Now you don't want to put too much pressure. These are known to break here, but we'll pull this speedo gear out there we go that's out there this will actually slide out the bottom there's where your cable runs into there so that gear looks nice and clean all right we will pull this clutch cover here all right 15 of those eight millimeter bolts around the outside We've got a 12 millimeter oil line right here. Now what we're gonna do is pull this cover. Now what I like to do is put a little pressure on this cover. So find an area where you can lift. You don't have to put much pressure on it all, but tap it and that cover will a lot of times just pop right off of there. Pull this cover off here. There's an oil dipstick. Right here, it runs all the way through. Shift mechanism right here uh, being pushed on from the other side, so it kind of popped everything off. But here's your shift shaft here. You've got your splines on the end there. That's a pretty common problem to go bad. Um, and then all of these are shift mechanisms there for the clutch. We have your centrifugal clutch here, your outer housing, and then we have your shoes here. Your centrifugal clutch is this. The clutch basket with friction plates and steel plates. Clutch springs are here. And then underneath this is the oil pump. There's a shift star down there. And the 